We are over the Fort Borman Scenic Overlook, about to cross over the Little Kanawha River into Parkersburg, West Virginia, which unfortunately, like everywhere else in West Virginia, except for the New River Gorge Bridge, is not actually in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We do have roads, we have parking lots, we have buildings that, well, like Parkersburg just doesn't look anything like what's really there, kind of like Morgantown, like Huntington, like Charleston, like everywhere we've been in West Virginia and there's a lot of cool things that make Parkersburg you know unique you got old buildings you got new buildings you got you know the railroad tracks that run through town you got a giant flood wall along the rivers <sighs> and none of that is here and that is disappointing so I think we're gonna have to do something about this and uh, bring a little bit more of Parkersburg West Virginia into Microsoft Flight Simulator we are back over Fort Borman Overlook, approaching the real city of Parkersburg. Well, at least until A Street, that's about as much as I imported. And I'm, uh <laughs> so we've brought in the railroad bridge. We have the flood wall, and one of my favorite things is uh, while we were importing the flood wall, we see it has the welcome to Parkersburg imagery right there on it. So, and this is a nice view of our mod here. That goes more or less from the uh, Little Kanawha River here over to about 8th Street, and then we get a little bit more over to 9th and 10th. So let's go and start heading that way and check it out as we look at the skyline of Parkersburg. The very first building I brought in right over there, the uh, Wood County Courthouse. We'll get a closer look at that here in a minute. So we pass over the amphitheater and the flood walls, and we have added the 5th uh, Street bridges. Because without it, it just, you know, doesn't look the same. And along with the uh, railroad bridge through town, we added that too. And again, just makes it look more like Parkersburg. So we pass by the Camden Clark Medical Center. So let's cruise on in to town on the uh, railroad here. And, of course, the closer you get, the uh, worse the, the uh, <laughs> models look. These are all uh, render docs. Google Map Blender imports. I did the best I could. I am still learning. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with uh, how we have managed to bring in Parkersburg, the United Building there. And let's head on over to the uh, Wood County Courthouse. This is one of the, oh, we have some nice advertising here on the uh, Smoot Theater as well. So if you were in uh, that particular production, <laughs> immortalized forever at least until Google updates the imagery but it'll be forever in this mod because I'm not gonna update it for a while it's been about all oh, two weeks or so importing all of these things and uh, cutting them up in render docs there's the blender has it over there and there's the Wood County Courthouse next to the uh, Bureau of Fiscal Services and this is just a cool building, so it was the first one, and it was nice and small. And so it was you know, my first experiment of bringing a building in. And then I brought in more, and then I brought in more, and then I brought in more, and I just couldn't stop. And then I had to bring in the flood wall because, you know, again, this was one of those things. If you don't have the flood wall, then, you know, do you really have Parkersburg? Now, my flood wall is not perfect. It has some holes in it and a few where they're not supposed to be, but, you know. <laughs> I'm not sure what this uh, building here is on the, uh, it seems like the newest building in Parkersburg. I assume it's another federal building of some sort because I can't find the name of it anywhere. <laughs> but Parkersburg, cool. It's got new buildings. It's got old buildings. Uh, there's a lot of history in Parkersburg. We head down to the edge of the mod here is the uh, Department of Highways and the steel supply. I don't know why I like the steel supply building so much, if only because it's a steel supply and they just seem to have made it out of what they supply. <laughs> That's just kind of neat. And we added in this nice brick building, which I don't think anything is in, but it is uh, pretty neat. And we head over here to this office supply store, which has some advertising there on the side, and the Kia dealership. And you can date when this imagery was taken by the construction here at the Marriott. They are not quite done with it. They are still finishing this face. And we'll blame this hole here, not on a rendering error by me, <laughs> um, but on the fact that it's under construction. <laughs> 
Let's, uh, let's head on down Market Street and check out the uh, edge of the mod over here. So we're entering the uh, historical districts here, and so we have some very nice architecture. I only captured some of it. Um, once you get into small houses and you're dealing with trees and things like that, it is very difficult. But these two buildings uh, came in fairly nicely. And if I ever get back to the Parkersburg mod, I'll definitely work on adding uh, more of this historical district. All right, so let's head over to Market Street, and we stopped at this uh, big apartment building right here. <laughs> Let's head back into town. Uh, there's a nice church right there. Parkersburg has lots of nice churches. And there we have it. The Parkersburg mod. The link will be available below. Come over to the Camden Clark Hospital. There's the edge of our mod uh, here. There's this and the credit union there. Because once we start getting nice houses, like I said, it just takes a really long time. It takes about as uh, long to put get in a large building as it does a small house, just because you're basically doing all the same things. All right, so the link will be below. Let's uh, flip it over to nighttime mode. I did add some lights around. If you don't add lights, then like you can't see a lot of stuff. And even this, um, the main thing I added lights to, so you could see at night is the bridge. I like the way this bridge uh, looks with the lighting that has been added. And all of uh, downtown Parkersburg. I just added some lights here and there, so if you're flying around at night, you won't be totally blind like you would be in a lot of mods where it uh, blocks out the light. So, But what's this? There's, <laughs> there's a beam of light in the distance. What could be over there? Uh, let's, uh, let's head that way. Let me give one last look to uh, downtown Parkersburg at night. And we enter game file buildings, and uh, they're, I mean, they're neat at night because you can't really tell too much difference to the houses. And then you can see like the shimmering blue lights where people are watching TV. That's just kind of interesting. <laughs> so let's head on over here and see what's going on with our beacon of light. And it is Parkersburg High School. This is the very last part of the mod. It is not attached to anything. In other mod, or any of the other models, this is all one single mod, just a whole bunch of models, which is different than some of the other things I've done, which were a whole bunch of mods. So this doesn't really affect performance too much. This is basically the same as if you go into any city that has photogrammetry data, uh, unlike the Google imports, where they can really slow down everything, because it's importing every road, every tree, every uh, everything. And I decided to put a beacon of light here, because I made the mod, and uh, I can do what I want. <laughs> Here at the home of the Big Reds and Parkersburg High School. So let's flip it back during the day. I'll give you an idea of exactly how many models are in here. I've kind of lost track. It's in the 30 to 40 to, I'm not sure <laughs> anymore, to be honest. It just kind of hit the point where I was like, okay, let's work on something else that isn't Parkersburg. But I wanted to get this out. To everybody, so here's our project. We will uh, load it on into the editor, and here you can get an idea of exactly how many uh, models we have comprised of all of this. Let's kind of zoom around our <coughs> Parkersburg High mod and face. No, I went the wrong way. <laughs> and face the city. And then we can highlight all of these. And so every red square you can see over there is an individual model. And if we uh, select all of these, you can see all of the uh, individual models that are in this. Um, some buildings are individual models. Other buildings are just part of other models. Some sections are larger than others. It was just kind of how I was feeling like doing it at the time. So this section of Market Street is one model, and over here is one model. And sometimes a model jumps the tracks and gets the tracks, and sometimes the tracks are a different model. It was just kind of learning as I went along. Uh, the bridge over here is all one model.
as well as the uh, hospital here. And I wish I had made this uh, railroad bridge all one model, but I ended up kind of stitching it together as I went around. <laughs> and that wasn't the most intelligent idea. But it ended up all working out. And so here is the uh, courthouse. Let's see what we get. And we can woo, move it up and down. And uh, theoretically, now that this is in the game, we can uh, place it anywhere in the game we want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> So, all right, there's the Parkersburg, West Virginia mod. It was a couple weeks of work, but it was a good time. I've learned a lot. I'm going to apply it to lots of other places in West Virginia. So hit that like, hit that subscribe. We fly around. We check out cool places. We are uh, now into modding, apparently. And once you go down into the modding hole, it's hard to climb out. <laughs> Thank you for watching.